The idea of this vehicle is to be able to take a camper anywhere on this planet. It needs to be able to get down these steep trails that you could do in a normal off-road Tacoma. It's not one of those projects that you're just bolting some stuff on or putting a camper shell on the back of a pickup truck bed. I mean, it needs to be able to climb a mountain. You can see all the X bracing and added tubes that we put in. On the outside, as you can see, we have started putting some paneling on. We put these guys in here to unite the shell and the body and make it as one. So when it does go to twist, they both twist together. Well, we have got a lot done on this camper. It probably doesn't look substantially different other than we have the roof skinned. We have the rounded corners skinned, which is a process as well. And then we have, you know, kind of a body line coming through here and getting these to all line up and stuff takes a little bit of time and patience. We're trying to make these fit on here well, which are the stock Tacoma fender flares. We wanted to keep the width in the middle of the vehicle, narrow it up for the trails on the top and the bottom, obviously for tree avoidance, I guess you would say. There's been ups and downs. Um, sometimes we'll go a couple of weeks where everything seems to be going just perfect. And then other times it just seems like, oh God, we gotta go back to step one again. Just last week, we had the whole roof done, skinned, all the panels rolled over the side so that the other panels would meet up to them. And we decided to put a moon roof in it. We kind of put this little bubble up top right here. Kind of give us a little bit more headroom. And so we're gonna do a Lexan center, kind of like a sunroof. It'll pop up, I think, six or seven inches above the roof. This ended up being a pretty good package. We'll make a gas door, but then you also want to obviously separate gas fumes and potential dangers from the shell of the truck. We were able to package two batteries under the hood of the car. It's a real benefit because it gives us space for storage inside the camper. This was probably one of the most labor intensive time intensive pieces to make on this thing so far. I mean, I feel like we're literally building a mobile house and those are kind of two things I haven't ever built is a mobile house. Today, the paint chips arrived from PPG. Um, this is the first version of them. There's three of the colors that I'm sold on right now. I love the way they look together. Once I could wrap my head around what the outside was gonna look like all the way down to the rendering, then it becomes, let's try and visualize something that is uh, pretty darn cool for the interior. The floor of this will be covered in a teak sauna style wood. Aesthetically, it looks really good and it goes well with what I'm thinking for the interior colors inside the vehicle. In this kind of a build, usable space is everything. This door right here had so much nuance to it that probably, what would you say, Brad, 150 hours into this door maybe? The hard part is having two different angles. It was never a flat door in the back. They were always gonna shape it to the back of the, well, that shape makes it really hard for things to open and shut. Originally, we thought it was gonna be a little bit easier than what it was, but we didn't know it was gonna be that tight. The mechanical side of it, I see as not a whole bunch of unknowns, and that's what makes me happy. We went bold with this vehicle. Everything that I see says we made the right choice definitely a one-off. Hopefully you're in another section where somebody's like, did you see that Tacoma over there in the Toyota booth? Like that's, I'm hoping for that reaction.